Hello lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. Recently we've got a bit more information regarding the upcoming 2016-2017 Ben 10 reboot. It's not a lot of new info, unless you count a couple of seconds of footage as a substantial amount of information. With that being said, I'm going to relay this info to those of you who may not have already heard, and maybe talk briefly about it, as well as share the results of the Ben 10 poll I took months ago. First up, we'll start with some obviously good news. Tara Strong has confirmed that she will be back voicing Ben in this reboot. I have so been looking forward to this. I'm sure this was a point of contention for some fans, whether she'd be back since Grandpa Max's voice actor won't be returning. I think maybe this is why Cartoon Network didn't ask her back for Powerpuff Girls, because she'd be too busy with Ben 10. But maybe I'm wrong. Either way, our glorious mistress of a hundred voices has returned to us. So hopefully that is some cause for celebration regarding the reboot among the fandom. In other news, some shots of the Ben 10 reboot were shown recently in a trailer for a bunch of other Cartoon Network things. I don't remember where it was shown off at, maybe Comic-Con, but I can't show off any footage here because at the time of this writing, it has still not been released to the public. I won't encourage you to go and find it on YouTube, but if that's something you need to do, wink wink. The footage shows off a few of Ben's alien transformations, Cannon Bolt, a newly redesigned Stinkfly, and Forearms. The one that sticks out is of course Stinkfly, if that really is the alien I'm thinking of. Personally it looks more like a cross between Big Chill and Stinkfly, but that's just me. I don't have a personal problem with how this one looks. It's actually a bit cooler than Stinkfly's original design. It's also possible it's a new alien. Not a lot of footage is shown, and it's, no offense, recorded on some person's phone or camera, of all things. So the quality isn't crystal clear, but from what I'm seeing, the animation doesn't look bad, in terms of style or the actual animation. I'll need to see a full trailer, and definitely the first episode before I set down a complete judgment, but this doesn't seem like it's not Ben 10. It looks different than what's come before, certainly, but it doesn't look so different, it's alien. Pun intended. We also know a better release window for the reboot. It'll be airing sometime this fall in Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and the Asia-Pacific region. Something tells me it's gonna be a long summer. An American date will be sometime 2017. I'm not sure how we'll be reviewing the new show, whether I'll jump on an any English dub that airs in these places, or if I'll wait for the official US release. I guess since I waited for Ladybug, I'll wait for Ben. But that does probably mean I'll have some eager beavers trying really hard to spoil me uh, as to whether the show does or doesn't suck, and I'd rather not have another person's opinions potentially clouding my own when I go into something I haven't seen, so hopefully none of you try to do that. I don't want hints, I don't want wink wink teases, I don't want anything to don't tell me about the show at all. I'll get to it when I get to it. Now, I want to address the elephant in the room. The fact that there are fans out there who are already claiming that this reboot is going to suck. Now, what are they basing this on? Such little information that it makes my head hurt. Not counting the rumors floating around by potentially valid or non-valid sources, we know very little. Certainly not enough for one to get it in their head that they won't enjoy the new series. Now, what people are confused about when I've said this in the past is that I'm not saying the show will absolutely be good. I'm saying none of us know if it's going to be good or bad, and we should go into it with an open mind. Another thing to consider is that Man of Action are the executive producers on the reboot. What does that mean? It means they oversee the creation of the reboot. They're the head producers, in other words. You might be thinking, so what? Well, Man of Action were just consultants on the original show, and not at all on the sequels. Sam Register, in fact, was the executive producer on the original show, and I think subsequent ones. And he, of course, was the vice president of Cartoon Network at the time. So Cartoon Network was more in the driver's seat than the people who came up with the concept for Ben 10. So now, for the first time ever, the four men who created Ben 10 will now fully control the direction of the reboot creatively. And that's cause for at least some optimism going forward, in my opinion, especially considering how some Ben 10 fans worship the ground these men walk on. <laughs> Now, several months ago I created a poll 
asking fans their initial thoughts on the Ben 10 reboot, and I think it's garnered enough votes that I can reveal the results. I may do another poll when an actual full trailer is ever released, or when the first episode premieres, but for now, these are what a group of Ben 10 fans think. The questions were divided up into, I'm excited for the reboot, I'm not looking forward to the reboot, undecided need more information, and mixed feelings. A whopping 207 people voted on this poll. To me, that's a good enough sample size for our purposes engaging the fans' interest. Here are the results. 25% of people said they had mixed feelings. 14% said they needed more information or were undecided. 21% said they were not looking forward to the reboot. And finally, 39% said they were excited for the reboot. So while it wasn't by a landslide or anything, the majority of those who voted are indeed excited about the Ben 10 reboot. Now, of course, there are still those undecided who make up the smallest percentage of those voting or those with mixed feelings, which I described in the original video as maybe being excited, but also feeling like a reboot isn't needed so soon after Omniverse has ended. I'm pretty happy myself with these results as it shows that almost double the people who aren't looking forward to the reboot actually are excited for the reboot. Again, I'm hoping to do another large poll similar to this one once another big trailer is revealed. Something that not only shows off the art style and animation clearly, but also shows off some other aliens, the characters, the tone of the series, and the story. That way, we'll have something more substantial and fans will have a better idea if they're excited for it or not. Before I end things off, I wanted to point the way to a new YouTuber who made a very excellent video on why you shouldn't freak out about the Ben Chin reboot just yet. I reference a couple of things he says in his videos and mine, so go check him out. His name is Matthew Shelley, and I'll include a link in the description and in the comments. Uh, give him a sub while you're over there. And that's it for me. What do you think of the new information revealed so far? And what do you think about the results of the poll? Do they surprise you? Or did you think that was going to be the result all along? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and take care.